I think people um, have a tendency to want to um, not open up the mm-hmm. can of worms because mm-hmm. they fear that the conversation, I think they fear they're not prepared for it. Right. And, right. and so they're more fearful of where the conversation might mm-hmm. go rather mm-hmm. than understanding that if we're not having these conversations mm-hmm. and then we wait until there is an incident, mm-hmm. um, it's far worse. Right. Right. It's, it's far worse to be discussing these kinds of, of perspectives when someone has been offended. Or when you're in a mediation. Right. <laughs> it's like it's too late for a Right. <laughs> right. So... Um, I find in our customers, the ones that proactively have open conversations about um, race, mm-hmm. gender, marginalization, um, impact, mm-hmm. perspectives, mm-hmm. Um, have cultures of high psychological safety. Okay. So people feel like, oh, I feel like I can say mm-hmm. um, it bothers me when someone said this or that gotcha. that statement hit me wrong. Right. Those are the cultures I think that are, are open to people just mm-hmm. stating how someone's words, behaviors or actions impacted them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause it seems like so often again in being in HR, it was mm-hmm. more of, well, if you don't, address it didn't happen you know or if you don't look over there it's not happening just kind of ignore it till it gets to our office space and yeah. I, again definitely creating the the psychological safety yeah. first to understand like how we're yes. gonna have these conversations yeah and how we're gonna move forward with this yes <laughs> Thank you.